So we are here today to remember our grandpa that recently passed away. We've been seeing a lot of comments recently of what happened to our grandpa. Sadly, he did pass away. So we are here because we would like to celebrate his life. Not because we want this to be a sad video. Uh, my father had a happy and long life. And when he fell and he suffered a stroke, we have received a lot of prayers from all of you and a lot of really kind comments. And um, that meant a lot to us, the support that we received from all of you. And he was doing really well at one point, but then sadly he just um, passed away just recently. We are here because his name was, is our name and we carry on the, the generation because of him we are here and we are so grateful for his life. Like my mom said, thank you for all your prayers and for everyone sending all the love to us. Grandpa Dobre, you know, you guys know our last name, Dobre Moffitt. Uh, he started a lot of things with us when we were a child, you know. He helped us learn how to ride a bike. He taught me how to drive for the first time. Um, he picked us up from school. He's a really funny guy, so like my mom said, we're here to remember the amazing life that he had. For anyone else who feels the same amount of pain for a family member in your life, we send love your way too. You know, this is just the way of life. We believe that, you know, because we're believers in God, that we live forever as long as we have faith in God. And one day we'll all be together in peace. Just in case you didn't know, my father is from Romania. He used to spend like an amount of time in Romania and USA. And one of his motivation to come here and visit my children, one of his motivation was to teach them how to drive. He was a very good driver, so he was teaching them how to do the parallel park and... He was a taxi driver in Romania, right? He, he had a, like a multiple jobs, yeah. At one point he was a driver and um, he was a very good driver and I'm proud of him. So that motivated him. At one point he was telling one of our neighbors, I really want to go back to USA to teach the kids how to drive. Yeah, he was a great instructor when it came to driving. I'm happy that we did get to drive together a few times, many times, actually. <laughs> I would always talk to him about like girls and stuff, what was going on in school. He would always ask me about my love life. He was always kind and patient no matter what. We definitely miss him to tie to you best. I always pray to him though at night, so you can still feel his presence here. Uh, when my father um, fell and he, had, he suffered a stroke, and he was at one point in like a rehab facility. He was like a family guy. He loved his family so much. He was a handsome tata to I fost întotdeauna un bărbat foarte frumos și ți-a iubit familia atât de mult. We said we are not here to cry, but here I am because he loved his family so much. So one day we were visiting him and he was like, Aurelia, is our family falling apart? I was like, no, dad, why, why? He thought because he fell and had an accident, our family was going to fall apart. So I said, no, dad, our family is not going to fall apart. I remember he used to pick me and walk us up and take us to our basketball practice. Like, he used to always be there for us too. Yeah, like, he was like our second dad, like when you guys uh, had yeah. work, like he used to always take care of us when you guys would work and stuff, so. Yeah, when we used to work in the gym, he would, the reason, I hope you know that we, we have a goat and his name is Baby, B-E-B-I. And the reason we picked that name is because of my dad. When the twins were getting ready to, to go to school in the morning, he was warming up the car in the cold days. He was calling Lucas, Baby, I'm warming up the car, so when you're ready, just come to the car. So when we're thinking about naming our that's goat. Crazy. That's true, I never thought <laughs> yeah. of that. He was like, Baby. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, baby, baby, yeah. uh, in mașina, tataia. Hai, tataia, să nu întârziem de la autobuz. He, was, he passed away on September 12th. How long was he in the hospital for? He was, uh, he was in the hospital and um, rehab for three months. And then he was like in a, in a care, in home care for six more months. And I am so grateful to the amazing team of people that took care of my father. And they did an amazing job. We tried our best, I'm sure. Even though sometimes you feel like there could be something else that would have been done, I have to believe in my heart that we tried our best. It's like sometimes my father would just walk into the room and sit down on the bench, 
right there. Uh-huh. My mother would say, be careful, you're gonna break Aurelia's bench because he broke one chair before. So he would sit down very slowly and he would tell me stories like this one time when he was young and he got fired from his job <laughs> because he fell asleep on the job <laughs> and we were laughing. <laughs> Yo, I remember the first time, I was in high school, the first time like I ever snuck a girl over. My parents were on a vacation somewhere. <laughs> None of the brothers were even home. And only he knew and he saw because he would get up to use the bathroom like late at night sometimes. So, you know, I had the bedroom door open too. And the same time I opened the door, he was coming out of the bathroom. And he just, he just, he just, Smiled, bro, and went back to sleep. Like <laughs> he was a lady. He, he, he was say, a ladies' man. Like he was a ladies' man. Yeah, he, he was cool. He was very proud of me because he introduced me to gymnastics, and I normally don't brag, but I'm grateful for that because my kids um, have got a lot of gymnastic skills and talents and I'm grateful and he would always say I'm the father of a champion I would get really shy and I said please don't say that I have a lot of good experience with him too he, he was he's, he was a wise man and he always gave good advice to Aurelia to the kids and he had respect for for me and I had a lot of respect for him he was a very quiet man he was very calm and always you know thinking what to do and he was always friendly us. He had a lot of good qualities and you know, I do miss his company here. He always come downstairs and look at you know, us and, and he was watching us having dinner. He always says, uh, bon appetit coffee. <laughs> yeah, he would come uh, in the morning and say, <laughs> buna dimineața, pofta buna copy. Um, we would eat breakfast, micul dejun, yeah. and he would say, pofta buna copy, and yeah, we miss him. Do you have some pictures of him? Yeah, yeah we, we want to show, show you guys some memories that we have of him. So here's a picture of him when he was a little younger. And here is a picture of him with Cyrus and Dari sitting on the porch. Hey, I barely <laughs> remember that. That's crazy, right? I, I remember that shirt though, kind of. Do you? Yeah, I do remember. This picture I really love because that year we had a blizzard and I love snowmen and my father actually oh, yeah. built a snowman for Cyrus. He always helped us build snowmen. That's crazy, I just remember that. This is a picture of us, and if you notice Lucas and Marcus are not there, <laughs> I have a huge stomach. <laughs> I am very, very pregnant. Here's <laughs> yeah, a picture of this. Of <laughs> us for of the brothers, and then our grandma, and then he's in the back right there. That's at the church. Yeah. Wow. Oh, here's a picture of you. And... Yeah, I really cherish this picture. That's a picture of me and my father. We we're so grateful we got invited by the general to to celebrate my success in gymnastics. I should show him the military picture. Yeah, that's yes, right. he was very proud of that. He used to actually ride motorcycles too. And one time he told me a story like he was riding on the street and he slid under a truck that's and crazy. he was good. He got back up and kept riding. So it's pretty pretty if you ask me. This is like a nightstand that I made for my dad with a tiny Christmas tree. And I put an angel to watch over him. And right before he passed, he gave this ring to my mom. <laughs> I used to love this ring so much. And he gave, he told my mom, give it to our daughter. So I put it on this tiny stand. It has a camel on it. <laughs> we should never take anyone for granted because our time here is limited on earth. and. We should just be kind and loving as much as possible. We just want to say, guys, make sure you spend a lot of time with your friends and family. You never know what they're going through or how long they have on this earth. So make sure you guys appreciate them. It's all about friends and family. I want to say I love you, Tatai. I you best. I love you best for your thought. She, we are a family. She, we're gonna see you one day. And yeah, enjoy every moment. Every moment is precious in life. It goes by fast and. Um, you know, really appreciate those that love you. You know, you're not alone. We're on this world together and enjoy your loved ones. That's all I gotta say. I would say have respect for your father and always be supportive of your father and do whatever you can while he's alive. Make him happy. You only have one father. Dad, I would like to thank you for who I am today because you are the one that introduced me to the sport. And 
please forgive me if I haven't always been a good daughter. I know I went through some rough patches in my teenager years. I love you. The you best for the mold. Love you, Grandpa. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Daddy, why don't you break. say something and then come back to Marcus? We can take a break. Uh, Tataya, tell you best, Suntem Dora de Tine, we miss you. Thank you for always being a great grandfather for us, always looking out for us, and always being kind to us. We miss you and we're excited to one day be reunited with you. So We hope we that you. you have peace, Dad. We hope that you have peace and mulțumim din suflet pentru tot suportul dumneavoastră, pentru urările dumneavoastră frumoase, pentru dragoste și vă trimitem din partea întregii familiei multă sănătate. Vă sărutăm și vă îmbrățișăm Dumnezeu să vă binecuvânteze și să vă apere de tot.